<laughs> hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out Paul for the first time. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. I look forward to this movie, man, since the one on the pole. I know this is a movie about their encounter with like an alien. I know Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are in it. And at first I assumed because Nick Frost and Simon Pegg were in it, it was going to be the same guy who did the Cornetto trilogy, if I'm saying that correctly. John the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and World's End. Just because both of them win. It just was an assumption. When you messaged me telling me a little bit about the movie, you didn't spoil anything. You just told me about how they came up with it and stuff like that. Just gave me a little bit of background. This happened with quite a few movies that I won on the pole. People to give me a little bit of background information about it without spoiling. It. Please continue to do that. I like when you guys do that type of stuff, man. Having a little bit of background without spoiling stuff, dude. I like that. It gives you more appreciation for the movie you're about to go into. So yeah, I know the basics. They're gonna come across an alien, and it's gonna be a comedy. Uh, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. I don't need to know more than that to know I want to watch the movie. You know. So yeah, man. I'm glad it won. Let's go ahead and jump into it, folks. We'll talk about it more at the end. <sighs> oh damn. Kill the dog? Sure, it's good. That is a wonderful cover. Three tits. <laughs> Some total recall stuff right there, buddy. Well, a wise man. Still wearing those three titties, though. You have to spin a good yarn before you can weave a great dream. Who said that? I did. I just said that. Hey, fellas. How you doing today? What is this? Some kind of gay bar? <laughs> it's a place where you can get a bite to eat and maybe share a close encounter. Yep, it sounds like a gay bar. <laughs> oh no, we're just friends. What are you doing? I'm just you don't, don't you put those queer eyes on me. <laughs> those queer eyes on me. Be seeing them again. <laughs> oh shit, it hit the car. That wasn't a truck, was it? Nah. Should I go and have a look? No. Oh shit. Oh, this is like deliverance. They're gonna rape us and break our arms. I don't want my arms broken. <laughs> I need the toilet. You're just gonna probe us. Why does everyone always assume that? What am I doing? Am I harvesting farts? How much can I learn from an ass? <laughs> I'm sorry. What's uh, your name? It's Graham Willie. And what's his name? Uh, that's the writer, Clive Gollings. Okay, cool. Listen, I got two rookies on a special mission 75 clicks north of you. I'll have them set up a roadblock. These are just civilians. Why don't you let me take care of it? You might need the extra muscle. Let me see this. What is this, nerd porn? Uh, uh, no, that's Clive's. It's, it's my novel. Okay. Ah, three tits. That's awesome. You guys should have given her four tits. A long time at that base thinking I was a guest. Turns out I was a prisoner. But don't worry. I got it all under control. <laughs> Hey, Bert. It's a miracle. Oh, oh my God. I'm not gonna eat a dead bird. Oh, no, not a dead person. Recently dead bird, that's one thing. Dead person, whole other ball game. The, the damage can actually bounce back onto me. I'm sorry, am I boring you? Have you heard this one before? Are you tired? UK. I love the UK. Uh, have you been? No. You should go. Okay. No, 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 I mean, go, you should go to London. <laughs> There's a lot of places I want to go. Yeehaw! None of them can dance. <laughs> Uh, so where's the other one? The other one? Oh, 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 it's okay. We don't charge by the person. God made there heaven were... and earth and created us all okay. in his own image. Oh, his own image? Well, I got a question. How do you explain me? <laughs> oh, oh, that's what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ruth, what in the Lord's name? Morning. No, 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 no! Here. Come on. No, no, he's, not, he's not evil, he's just a bit rude. You know, we're, we're trying to help him get home. Um, he, he's from another world. Oh, oh, no, 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 fuck no. this. <laughs> it's evil. Godspeed, Mr. Zoyle. 
first 48 are crucial. What's your beef, Clive? I don't have beef. Oh my, this is because me and Graham got like two minutes of FaceTime while you were sleeping? Is that what this is? I wanted this to be special, you know? Look, you want a little sugar? Uh, really hurt. Only if you struggle. <laughs> Just because your truth isn't a true truth doesn't mean there is no truth, Ruth. That's easy for you to say. It's really not. So there's no, <laughs> no hell, no yeah, right. Yeah, no <laughs> it was wrong. Explore new things. Okay. Doesn't necessarily mean faces. You should be exploring mine right now. What do you got there, by the way? Severe epiretinal membrane complicated by macular edema in your left vitreous cavity. How did you know that? Do you mind if I take a look at it for one second? It's okay. You can trust me. I don't know. I... Just have a little faith, okay? Oh shit, he actually fucked his own eye? I thought he was just using the saying. How did you do that? Evolution, baby. Oh, he's held it right back. Maybe I should call my dad. What? What? Why? I've been gone for a whole day, and if he calls the police, they're going to be looking for us. If I don't, there's a good chance we could all end up in shit butt city. You're really getting the hang of this. I won't be long. Okay, be, be, be careful. Ruth Boggs? Yes? Listen to me carefully. I want you to tell me where you are. I, I, I can't tell you. I mean, I don't know. It's the space baggage that ding the fuck mobile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sentence. <laughs> He's dead. Yo, fuck nuts. It's probing time. Oh. <laughs> huh? Only one of us fainted. Anything unusual this evening? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we sure? Why are you in such a hurry to leave now? Well, according to the government, I've fulfilled my usefulness. I told them everything I know. The only thing I have left off for them now are my abilities. In order to cultivate those abilities, they need some of my stem cells. And I'm not really down with that. Lucky Where's Ruth? She went back to the RV. Oh, crap. <laughs> of course. He can read minds. Come on. Oh. I can't hold my breath the whole way through town. Wait here. Clive, what are you doing? Yeah, man, what the fuck? I want to. Why would I ever use it? Just go, please. Wait. Maybe we should go inside. What? Uh, happy trails. Eh? Oh, shit. Weirdo. Get your goddamn hands off my motherfucking junk! <laughs> goddamn hands off my motherfucking junk. <laughs> Who's that kid? Keith Nash, punch it! That's it. This, this is too dangerous. I'm, I can make it on my own from here. What do you mean? No, me? Graham. You've done enough. I'll, I'll, I'll boost a car or something. I, I can drive an automatic. You're the last 72 hours have been <laughs> the ride of my life, and I'm fucked if I'm getting off this bus now. Yeah, me too. And me. Well, that settles it. We're all fucked. Thank you, guys. So much. It'll be two ninety nine ninety nine plus tax. Hmm. Same as a sword. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Look, they're running. Holy shit! Get the door! Oh shit. You tripped up a 911 outside of Prospect. The fireworks store just got ripped off by two British nerds in an RV. Son of a bitch! According okay, to... we're nearly there. This is where we've been headed. No, I, I just need to make a little stop first, okay? Do you think we've really got time to be making little stops, Paul? This is something I really have to do. Hey, Tara. I spent a very long time trying to convince folks about what happened that night. Everyone said I was mad. They told me it was a meteor that, that squashed little Paul. I, I'm sorry, you know, if, if I could have done it any other way, I... Oh, it's okay. You're real. 
That's all that matters. You're a little teddy bear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys are terrible at their jobs. So weak. Give me the alien. Give me the fucking alien. <laughs> oh, fuck, watch it. Give me the alien. Oh. oh what an adventure. Coming. Ready or not. God bless him. Never. Grammy scared the shit out of me. <laughs> 500 feet. That's going to put us behind the tree line. We're not going to enjoy the full effect. Yeah, that's true, actually. Well, I mean, hey, that's what the oh, 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 now you're running, huh? That's not funny. That's dangerous. <laughs> I say, yeah, he's going to see that, man, for sure. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be the ship or it's going to be the government. The big guns or whatever she was talking about. Wait a minute. Yup, military. Well, what do you know? Oh, nice. Small world. Sigourney. Paul. <laughs> At least you sound familiar. Sorry. She don't know who can throw a punch. <laughs> Ruth! Papa? They increased that dude's fame. Oh shit. He shoots Simon Pegg. That was close. Oh. No! Oh god, Kyle. Drop the fucking gun, Dad! Oh no! I god, don't they do it, Mac Lash thing. Is he gonna die? That would have sucked, too. He'd be fucked up if he died. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> Shit, I forgot about her. Well, ain't this... Damn. <laughs> I changed my mind. Is the Gordy like that? That is Jenga. Oh, you're coming with me. What? He did blow up your life, Tara. Well, he didn't, but you know. Around, I give you a new one. She's cool. She with me. Let her in the yuck. Family out there. Well, it's safe to say we've all learned something from this. Be yourself. Speak from your heart. Some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, I, I certainly feel a bit different. And me. He doesn't really care about that people. Why well, that massive ship just to pick him up? Oh. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> this ends right there. That was good, wasn't it? Man, that was a really good movie. I enjoyed this a lot. I thought this was fantastic, dude. That was very funny. Seth Rogen was a good pick for Paul's voice. Seth Rogen just has such a unique, funny voice. It adds to the comedy so much. Bill Hader's fantastic as well. Kristen Wiig is fantastic. They're both really funny people. They're funny in everything I've ever seen them in. They're always entertaining to watch, so I really enjoyed them in this. I cannot remember that guy's name, but I know he plays Officer Boyle on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but for the life of me, I can't think of his name. He's very funny, too. I was watching this, I was like, man, I cannot think of people's names. By the time it popped in my head what their name was, as I asked too late now to even mention it, kind of weird to randomly mention it but yeah dude i really enjoyed this kristen wick's character her father that dude was out of his freaking mind he witnessed all that he's still like yeah praise be to god <laughs>
which I get the reason why he was that way because I grew up in a Christian household. I used to be super religious. A big chunk of my family is very religious. So I, I get it. It's very hard to sway people's beliefs. It was very funny. Her dad was very entertaining. I love how hard it was to shake his beliefs and hers at first until he did the whole mind mail thing. The argument between her and Paul was very funny to me. I enjoyed that a lot. The shirt was funny too. I actually want that shirt. I don't believe it, but it's a funny shirt. <laughs> Uh, God shooting Charles Darwin in the head. Like, God, get out of here, bro. A lot of references to sci-fi shows and stuff. That was cool. Let's see. Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Back to the Future. The whole toothbrush thing was a reference to him saying where we're going, we're going to need roads. Freaking Sigourney Weaver. I knew her voice sound familiar, but I could not put my finger on it. Crazy. I love Sigourney. Cast this movie great. It just was a great lineup all the way through. I really like the twist as well, man. The agent pursuing him the entire time was his buddy, his inside guy. That was really cool. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. I thought it was really sweet that he took the girl with him as well. The three titty joke made me think about Total recall i have not seen a movie in so long i remember when we first saw the movie i was probably I think i was 10 or 11 i can't quite remember i remember watching a movie and we have to cover our eyes whenever there's nudity on the screen and i remember us covering our eyes during like any nude scenes but we we'll always be like, you know covering like this so we can see some titties and i remember the lady with the three titties my cousin always did this joke and none of the adults know he was talking about but we did it was really fun he'll just point it he'll just go one two three that's what i'm gonna be thinking about when they showed the lady with the three titties i don't remember much about that movie but i do remember arnold schwarzenegger ripping the cab driver out of the place to drive the car. I remember the hooker with the three titties. And I remember like when they came through like t pipes or something like that and they landed on the Martian surface and like their eyes were swelling up like they are about to pop. That's the three things I remember about that movie. Other than that, I don't really remember anything else. That's like seared into my brain, three titties. <laughs> I'm always gonna remember that. This is great, man. You guys are absolutely right saying I was gonna enjoy this movie. I did enjoy it. I think I said this already, but I really like Nick Frost and Simon Pegg together. I think they work together really, really well. The characters felt a bit different in this compared to like World's End and stuff like that, even though I know it's a different director and all that stuff. You know, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, Nick Frost was kind of like the screw up. It was kind of reverse in World's End. Simon Pegg was the screw up, and Nick Frost was like the guy who was doing well. And in this, they just both were, I guess, on equal grounds. Both nerds, one an artist, one a writer. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, one is usually higher on the totem pole, a bit different different but didn't hurt to film at all you know it was really really good i enjoyed it a lot but yeah man if i think of anything else i would definitely type below i really enjoyed this movie i'm glad that it won i appreciate you guys recommending it hopefully you guys have a fantastic day hopefully you guys are happy safe and healthy and i'll see you in the next one later